Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing on a double spread in the Dino Weekly Media Journal and I use a lot of stamping to make my marks on these pages. I'm working with the Distress Oxide inks on the background and I'm also adding some collage elements. For the Oxide inks I'm using these makeup brushes. I found them on Amazon. I recommend you search for oval makeup brushes or something like that and then I believe you will find them. They are so awesome to use inks with a stencil and they also are great to blend um, backgrounds for card making or so. The oxide inks are a little bit complicated I feel when I use them on gesso because they sometimes don't dry. And I believe they dry when I'm adding water to them. And also the ink pads dry faster than the sprays. And I once I've used um, the oxide sprays on gesso directly without adding any water. And that doesn't work. That never dries. Um, I am not happy with the sprays because I don't know what to do with them. And every time I do something then it looks dull and when I use them without water then it doesn't dry so um, I think that was a wrong investment for me but I learned and I will not buy them again I love the ink pads and they work great and they are perfect for stamping for background making that's really beautiful now I'm going in with some collaging I use jelly printed papers and I glue them down with gel medium and I am a little um, careful that I don't smudge the oxides on the background. After I have glued down all my papers, I spread some gesso with a palette knife all over my page to blend in the elements. When everything is dry, I do some mark making using different stamps. Rubber Dance has a nice collection of mark making stamps. We have some wonderful grungy stamps and also a lot of borders and they are perfect to add some marks and interest to pages.
Now I'm going in with my watercolors. I'm using the Mijello Mission Gold watercolors this time. For some scribble marks I'm using the black watercolor pencil from Faber-Castell. I dip the nib into water to create a deep black line. To create kind of a title I'm stamping the word dream from the rubber dance affirmations to my page. I'm also using some of the numbers from the picker number stamp set to create even more texture. Now it's time to glue down my flowers. I've colored them in with Inktense pencils and also some colored pencils on top. This creates more shadings and color depth. Um, I have some other videos uploaded where you can watch the coloring process. I will try to link one of them up in the info box or in the description box. I'm using a pet artist pen to color in the word dream I've stamped all over the page to make it pop from the background. I also add some white splatters to make my pages look more vibrant. And in this case I'm using white liquid watercolor. It's the best opaque paint to make splatters. But as it is watercolor you can just use it um, on top of a project because it will smear when you go on top with other mediums. That's my page for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope we see us next time. Bye!